Thank you. Viral pandemics are crazy. It's basically the same as a zombie apocalypse. Thank goodness it's not. Now, why is a zombie apocalypse so similar to a viral pandemic? It all comes down to what we define as alive. In biology, there are five requirements for being alive, and they are as follows. Homeostasis, which is the process of keeping internal conditions the same. For example, when you get too hot, you start to sweat, and this returns your body back to a normal temperature. Organization, you are made out of tissues which are made out of cells, and as a result, the cells in your body are arranged in an organized manner. Energy use, you eat food every day. This is because it gives you the energy that you need to carry out your daily tasks. Reproduction, the ability to produce offspring, like you yourself are. And evolution, the overall change of a species over time, like we humans who were once much more ape-like and arboreal than we are now. For something to be alive, it must fulfill all of these requirements. An ant, for example, can be defined as alive because it undergoes homeostasis. It is organized. It does use energy. It does reproduce. And it has evolved. Let's compare this with something that we know is dead. A rock. Now let's spice it up. Let's use a diamond. Does a diamond undergo homeostasis? Well, nothing regulates its changes, so not really. Is it organized? Yes, diamonds have a very organized structure. It's one of the reasons that they are so hard. Does it use energy? No, I mean, it just kind of lies there. Does it reproduce? No. Does it evolve? No, as reproduction is a necessary step for evolution. As you can see, there are some elements of life that are in something as lifeless as a diamond or a rock, which is why we must fulfill all of these requirements when defining something as alive. So let's get to the topic that we've clearly been dancing around for for already too long. Is either a zombie or a virus alive? Let's do zombies first. Do they maintain homeostasis? Based off of the extensive zombie research I have done, it appears most zombies do have some way to maintain their internal conditions. So yes. Are they organized? Yes. They were once animals or people, so their structures would remain intact. Do they use energy? Well, obviously that's what the brains are for. Do they reproduce? Now, this is a difficult one. Zombies create more zombies by biting non-zombies and turning them into zombies. Is this a form of reproduction? No, not really, because a key part of reproduction is passing on genes from parent to offspring, which cannot happen in a bite. Maybe we can give it a half? Do they evolve? Well, just as before, without reproduction, there is no means for evolution. This means overall zombies scored a 3.5 out of 5 living attributes, giving them the rank of undead. Okay, now on to viruses. The general structure of a virus is a strand of genetic material, like DNA or RNA, surrounded by a protein case. The protein protects the genetic material, and it delivers it to the nucleus of a cell. Once the genetic material is in the nucleus, the cell becomes hijacked and starts to make more viruses. So knowing that, do viruses undergo homeostasis? Homeostasis is all about regulating internal conditions. And viruses don't really have anything to regulate, so they do not do homeostasis. Are they organized? Yes, they are genetic material surrounded by a protein case. Do they use energy? Interestingly, no. Most basic viruses have no machinery to make energy. Instead, they hijack the host machinery and use that. Do they reproduce? This is really where the conversation starts to get interesting. When we talk about reproduction, really what we mean is if we put a couple organisms of the same species in a room, or one if you happen to be able to reproduce asexually, maybe also some candles and a hot meal or something, will the organisms be able to reproduce? Viruses cannot do this. They require a host in order to reproduce. In this sense, a virus basically acts as a robot taking over factory and making more of itself. Okay, do viruses evolve? Yes, a virus reproductive cycle does pass down genetic material, which is the key for evolution, and it means it can evolve. 
In fact, viruses evolve very quickly. If we take COVID-19 for example, its original host was bats, but it evolved to be able to use humans as a host as well. By our requirements, a virus is not alive. But are viruses alive or dead is a discussion because being able to evolve and sort of reproduce is very unique to something that is defined as dead. Support for this video comes from Biology Everywhere. If you enjoyed this content and would like to learn more about biology, I would highly recommend ordering this book using the link below.